what good is and what bad is, my friends. Are you evil? Are you divine? I suggest you find out today before it's too late. We Hello my wonderful friends, Megas with you on a beautiful day in Asha, and oh my god, I'm so wound up today, it's ridiculous. You can tell from the title of this video, guys, but this video is ridiculous and it's meant to be tongue-in-cheek and fun, but I, as I'm looking at what I put together here, it's literally, my friends, the highest truth. People are going to get literally set free today. My friends, awakenings are going to take place today. If you're one of those people that are truth seekers, if you stay till the end of this video, my friends, your life will never be the same. You're going to see the truth in a way you never saw it before. Uh, I, I got to start with, uh, of course, our opening song here. That, that was Dio, Last in Line, and it says, they'll know for the first time if we're evil or divine. And I'll tell you what brought this on. I get a lot of people telling me that because I'm not teaching out of the Bible, uh, we're teaching from the Zoroastrian Magi text, that I'm teaching a doctrine of demons, that I'm leading people astray. And my friends, I, I'm going to show you how completely wrong that is, my friends. And, and uh, oh my God, I got such good stuff put together. I can't wait to share this with you. We're going to cover so much. Uh, but first I got to tell you, uh, Asha, Zoroastrianism. The Zoroastrian priests were the first ones in recorded history to worship Jesus. It's recorded in the book of Matthew, my friends. It said the Jewish people were afraid. Uh, the Zoroastrian priests were the original monotheistic religion, and, and they taught an all-good God, my friends. The loving Father, they called him, just like Jesus called him. And, and he had no attributes of the evil spirit. He, he he didn't have enemies. He was just love. He didn't hate war, kill. He didn't get jealous. He, he, he did none of the things in the religions that came after Zoroastrianism. This is the original monotheistic religion. And the religions that follow added stuff, my friends. And when you add stuff to the original word, uh, there were some bad consequences. And, and oh my gosh, guys, check this out. So a, a couple things brought this on. Of course, uh, like I said, people saying that we're teaching a, a doctrine of demons when we're teaching an all good God. So I'd have to ask those people, if you're watching this, what, what is that teaching a doctrine of demons that we're saying that God is all good and has no attributes of the evil spirit? So go to the comments, let me know what you're thinking there. Another thing that started this is my son went to the DMV yesterday and uh, he was right at the deadline that he had to uh, sign up for the draft in case there's a war, right? And uh, he told the lady, he goes, um, isn't that just automatic? And she said, no, it has to be voluntary. Get this, this cracks me up, guys. It has to be voluntary. But, big but here, if you don't sign up for it, you can get a $250,000 fine and five years in jail. But it's up to you. You you must volunteer. You, you know, we're free here in America, my friends. What a freaking joke. Fuckity fucks. And that's what started this, my friends. Or right, how about our education system? Uh, is that voluntary? Do you have a freedom to send your kids to school or not? No, my friends. They will put you in jail if you don't. Fuckity fucks. And I don't like what they're teaching in school right now. My friends right now, he's got kids in elementary school. They're teaching kids in elementary school how to put rubbers on fruit. Fuckity fucks. Absolutely ridiculous. How about your taxes, my friends? Did you get, if you don't like where their taxes are going, uh, billions of dollars to weapons of mass destruction and, and uh, abortions or whatever your uh, political bent is, you don't get a choice. You pay your taxes. If we were truly free, you could go out, get a little plot of land, uh, get to gather water and, and, and plant a garden. You cannot do that, my friends. F freedom is an illusion. And it got me thinking again of the Metallica song. Uh, you know, it says, you can do it your own way as long as you do it just how I say. And that's how it is, my friends. It's an illusion 
of freedom. You know, and, and it's, I noticed here we got Dio, we got Metallica we talked about today. Those are all heavy metal songs. And I'm using these on purpose because a lot of the very religious people uh, would never listen to that music. They think, well, that's evil, my friends. But I'll tell you, there's a lot of people out there that would be singing, ah, 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 while they burn you at the stake and while they stone their own children. And we're going to cover that today. Uh, but first, uh, we got to cover the things that they complain about here. So they complain about our Asha teaching it all good God and teaching to align with it. They, they're so brainwashed, they call that demon, a uh, doctrine of demons. Another thing, now Zoroastrianism, they don't do tarot cards. That's my own thing. Uh, and, and so I, I wanted to cover that real quick. And then we're going to go over uh, the Bible. Because I went to Bible college, my friends. Wait till you see this. this. You will not believe what I'm about to show you in the Bible, my friends. Uh, uh, but first I got to cover the tarot cards. So the, the spookiest card in the tarot is the devil card, my friends. And, and, and when people see this and, and they say it's witchcraft and, and it's evil, my friends, uh, let me read to you what the spookiest card in the tarot says. So you pull this card and then you open up here. Let me tell you what it says. This is going to blow your mind. It says, sometimes you must wear the mask and play the game, especially in negotiations, business situations, and politics Never resort to hurtful, unethical, or illegal means. Sexual gratification without love and the acquisition of material objects bring only fleeting pleasure. Painful experiences with temptation and betrayal are the result of poor decision making. Guard against being the victim of someone else's delusion, lies, and deceit. Now here's the message that goes with that. It says, you think you need something and you are willing to go against what you know to be right and true to obtain it. You are playing a risky game with dangerous forces. Trickery will backfire. Sex without love is meaningless. What a beautiful story. And if you look close at the card... There's the devil there, and then there's two people there, and they're chains around their neck, but they're loose. And the card's telling you, get out of your chains by not doing evil, by not being sucked into lust and greed and hate. It's a positive card with a positive message, but the people, the religious, ah, oh, people will tell you that's evil. Don't look at it. It's going to steal your soul. My friends, absolute ridiculousness. So I, I'm showing, I, you should be able to look at everything, my friends. So, so we looked at Zoroastrianism. It's good. We looked at the tarot cards. They're good, my friends. Now let's look at the Bible. As you know, I went to Bible college. And I studied all these things. I had to think about all these things. Starting right out in Genesis. Genesis 38. There's a story of Judah and Tamar. Judah is one of the greatest tribes of Israel. Matter of fact, they would brag about it. I'm from the tribe of Judah. My friends, Judah was not a nice man. And the story of Tamar, this is his daughter-in-law. And, and so it says that his, Judah's son was considered evil and the Lord killed him. I wonder who was the Lord in this story, my friends, I got a feeling it might have been Judah. Uh, and, and then so Judah's next son was supposed to have sex with Tamar, his daughter-in-law, to give her a child. But he wouldn't do it, my friends. He, he would spill his semen on the sheets, it says. What a great book. Uh, and then that was evil in the sight of the Lord. So the Lord killed him. Now Judah went to town on a business trip and he saw a prostitute. Now, he didn't know this prostitute was his daughter-in-law with a veil over his face. He offered her a goat to have sex with him, and she got pregnant. Later, he found out that it was his daughter-in-law that had tricked him with the veil to get the prostitute. How do you get tricked to give someone a goat to sleep with you? My, that's not trickery. That's because you're stupid, you know? And, and so then he finds out he was tricked, and he wants her burnt at the stake. Okay, then we go to Numbers, Moses, the hero of the Bible, my friends. This is the things I learned in Bible college because we had to learn how, they called it apologetics, how to explain these things away, my friends. You can't, you know. And so Moses, the hero of the Bible in Numbers, okay, he, 
they went in, they killed the men, women, and children. Uh, but the soldiers, they had compassion on the women and children. They thought that we can't do it. So they brought the women and children back. And Moses said, why did you not kill the women and children? He said, kill the women and children before me like I commanded you to do. But, get this, what, uh, keep the young pretty virgins as sex slaves. Now, now, the idea why they had to kill the men, women, and all the children and burn it all down, but they kept the spoils and goods, well, was because uh, they were evil and they would bring plague upon the Israelites. But isn't that great? The hot babe virgins, the sex slaves, they wouldn't bring the plague. Wow, that worked out great, Moses. So beautiful. Go to Judges, the story of Jephthah. They called him the mighty man of valor in the Bible. For thousands of years, every year they would celebrate Jephthah. What the hell did Jephthah do to be celebrated by the Jewish people for thousands of years? In Judges 11, it tells us that he told Jehovah, if I'm victorious in battle and I kill them all and get all the spoils, I will sacrifice the first person that walks out of my home. He was victorious in battle. He killed the men. He ran swords through the women, blood everywhere, chopped the children up, crying, screaming. He celebrated. He went home and his daughter walked out. She said she had tambourines singing and dancing. Daddy's home. He lived and he took and slit her throat and offered her up as a bird sacrifice to Jehovah. My friends, people say that we here at the Order of the Magi teach a, a doctrine of demons. We're teaching Asha. Read it. It's about an all good God that can't send evil, can't do evil, and tells us to be just like that. We looked at what they call the evil witchcraft, my friends. The spookiest card in there, and it said, break free from the devil. Quit doing evil. Then we looked at the Bible, my friends, and it says, kill and destroy and bring in fear, my friends. Hello, wake up. Who is evil and who is divine? Because one day, my friends, you're going to get to the other side and you're going to find out. So why not wake up now? What is good is good and what is bad is bad. And it's simple and you know it, but you have to wake up and see it. See it now. You know, my friends, I shared this story. One of my girlfriends, her dad invented the sonogram, one of the inventors, brilliant man, wrote thick books on DNA, what, what an amazing man. Uh, and, and so we got to see things, we got to see inside uh, the mother's stomach. He did it on my own wife, I got to see my kids inside my, my kids inside my wife's belly, my friends, and it was so amazing. But along with this technology, we got to see things that are terrifying, my friends. I'll, I can't get this image out of my mind. It, it was a sonogram, and it showed a little baby sucking on its thumb, and, and then it's playing with its toes, and it was so sweet. And then all of a sudden you see a hook come in, and it rips off an arm, and you see it scream out in pain, and they tear it up, and they sucked it out, my friends. And right now, in America, that's called a, a good thing, my friends. Well, hello, you better think for yourself. I'm not gonna tell you what to think, you should already know, my friends. You should know what war is. You should know what abortion is. You should know what the Bible is. You should know what Asha is. Because inside of you, there's a fravashi, a divine spark written by God, the creator himself inside of you, to know what good is and what bad is, my friends. Are you evil? Are you divine? I suggest you find out today before it's too late. My friends, I love you. What a message today. It was one of those days. I'll see you tomorrow.